we work really hard uh, so that whoever comes in from whatever place that they come in knows that they're welcome and can enter in to what we, what we celebrate and say and sing and pray together. And when you come here the first day, people genuinely want to get to know you. They remember your name. We think that Sunday isn't the day that we go to church, it's the day that this church community goes to worship together. Liberty absolutely understands that we are trying to learn about God and everything that we do is um, to help us learn about God. Our services have an intentional shape where we sing and pray and listen to scriptures in such a way that we tell the story of God's rescue and His grace to us and to the whole world in Christ. I would say Liberty is a mixture of a traditional church environment with a, with a sense of vibrancy that you don't see anywhere else. He says that, that apart from Him, we can do nothing. We just felt that they were that they were culturally relevant without be without compromising the the uh, truth of the scriptures with an energy that is young and it's fresh and it's not stuffy. Our services capture a lot that we appreciate about the history of Christian worship. We we sing songs that are really old. We read prayers together. We celebrate communion week by week. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. But we also do these things in a way that's accessible and is comprehensible to friends and neighbors who might be really unfamiliar with Christian worship. Sometimes people are coming from the Catholic Church and they feel really at ease here because of our liturgy. The layout of our service is um, very structured like it is in the Catholic Church. We think that the, the friends and neighbors that we have that join us on a Sunday are really smart people who have really, who have really great questions oftentimes about God and about life. And so we seek to respect people by not, by not resorting to licks and tricks and gimmicks. There's no, there's no fog machines, there's no free sweatshirt giveaways or hot dog shooting cannons or things like that. Uh, but at the same time, we, we want people from wherever they come to be able to engage in whole, as whole persons with the good news of Jesus.